Hey guys, Shady Like a Tree here, and welcome into my Watch Dogs review. And I've been wrestling with this review for quite some time now. I've been trying to really understand, figure out, and comprehend um, all my thoughts, all my feelings, all my emotions on this game. Um, and yeah, so here we are. First off, this, uh, this review is going to be completely spoiler free, and um, that's because I haven't finished the game yet. And uh, I'm going to get into why that is here in a minute, but at the end of the day, uh, I don't have enough details about the story to really spoil anything. Um, anything you don't already know from watching the previews, watching the, um, wa watching the, the commercials and things of that sort, you're going to know everything you need to know about the, about the story, or at least you're going to know as much as I know about the story. Um you know from this and, and here you're kind of seeing me do some non-stealth gameplay um you can't do stealth on this mission because you're immediately once you walk out the door you're you have a light shined upon you and you there's no way to do this part with stealth so basically the idea is just kill enough of the bad guys run away and hope you don't die which i failed at this level several times so before i get into the negatives of this game because i'm going to be completely honest this review is going to be a negative review i don't have a whole lot of positive things to say about watchdogs um i'm gonna give the game probably a four out of ten maybe a five out of ten to be perfectly honest um so let's just kind of get right into it um the positives thing uh this game does a lot of new things um the whole hacking element is kind of new to me in a video game um i i've not played anything like this before not to say that something like that doesn't exist um but it's, it's got a better cover system than Assassin's Creed. I think a better free-running system than Assassin's Creed has in the past. Um, and I, I think the movement of your guy is better than it's been. It's certainly not perfect. It's certainly not really outstanding. But we're at least headed in the right direction if you've played any of the most recent Assassin's Creed games. Uh, we're certainly It's certainly better than that. Uh, there's a lot of mini games to do in this game. There's there's chess. There's driving games. There's fixer contracts. There's uh, kill this bad guy or stop this crime, and all of that is really fun and really awesome and really well done. I, I, there's not a side mission I've played yet, and uh, my progression is about 42%, and I've completed just about every side mission there is to complete in this game. Um, and then right here, you'll see me say, "Well, there's no point in shooting them because there's just more bad guys keep coming and coming and coming." And uh, I've crossed a spawn line or something, so I need to get away. So that's what I do is I just I just decide I'm going to run for it, hop in the river, and find a nice place to hide. But um, back to what I was saying, all the side missions are really fun. Um, you know, the fixer contracts are fun. Uh, scanning the crowd and just seeing all these people, you know, there's, there's, a, there's always those really cool, like, um, there was a guy I ran across. I don't think he's in any of the gameplay I recorded, but he was a... He was a elementary school teacher or something like that, and he had been arrested for child pornography or something like that. And just all the interesting stories you can tell yourself in your in your head, you know. Um, we'll see, you see me profiling right here, um, and and you know of all the different people, and you can see you know their stories and, and kind of listen in on their conversations if they're on the phone. You can steal their money uh, from the bank and buy guns and equipment and things like that. So all of that's really well done. I also like the points leveling up system. And then right here, this is my little nook and cranny I found to hide. But I love the point system leveling up. It's kind of like a tree where you can choose to level up things first. I leveled up my hacking first because I think it's it makes it easier to get away from the police and things like that. I also put some points into combat and things like that. But uh, I guess the real question is, um, should you buy this game? And I'm going to recommend that you don't. And the reason why I'm going to recommend that you don't buy this game, at least not right now, is for several reasons. First off, Watch Dogs in its opening week sold 4 million units, so we all know there's going to be a sequel. And secondly, I think that the sequel would be better than this because of all the issues and the problems. And you're about to see some gameplay that uh, it kind of is evidence and shows off some of the issues with the game. Here you see me kind of free running around and kind of... Um, you know, being on my phone and whatnot, but 
I do have some gameplay uh, somewhere. Um, I think it's actually in this particular mission, but um, the car driving is just terrible. The driving is bad. The collision physics are absurdly awful. Um, the the collision mechanism is just... If there's a word for, for worse than terrible, I would like to know what that word is because this is spot, it's spot on for what this is. Um, you know, you can wreck a car or you can have someone right next to you and you can literally run them into a parked car at 70, 80 miles an hour and they'll just bounce off. Um, it, like nothing happened, you know, they'll take a little bit of percentage damage, almost like they have a health bar, and then they'll just kind of bounce off, drive around, and, and kind of move along. And, and you'll see here in a minute when I'm trying to track down this car and kill this guy that I will literally hit his car, flip him upside down on his, er, and, and put him on his side, and I will push him probably a few hundred feet down the road, and his car will magically flip over, and he will drive away as if nothing happened. And that to me is a problem with this game. It's one of the issues I have with this game. It's, it's the driving elements. It's, it's the little things. And I talked about, um, or I will talk about, I'm not sure when this video will go, uh, go up and, and be live, but in my Smite commentary uh, episode 4, um, I talked about Ubisoft and my lack of trust in them. And that is dire a direct result of a lot of the flaws with this game. We were promised a great game. The hype for this game was real on the next uh, the most next of levels. And oh my god, we have we have lightning physics. We have lighting physics. We have rain physics. None of that made it into the game. And the game doesn't look, it doesn't feel, it doesn't play as good as it did before. Uh, and as as evidence, and I knew that was going to be a concern and a problem when no they weren't demoing the game. They they debuted it at PAX 2012. There was no demo at PAX 2013. There's no demo. There was no demo in April. The game was supposed to come out on May 27th, and there was no demo in April. Thirty days out, and I know why. It's because they knew they had a bad game, and they knew their game wasn't going to live up to the hype. And so they just showed they showed the same video they showed last year at, at PAX this year. It's the same video. I have it. I have a recording. And right there, you just saw me glitch through a car. Um, and here's another thing. The cars don't use turn signals. What next-gen system does not let a car who's turning right turn on their turn signal? It's just stupid. Um, so you'll see, you'll see kind of how the car... And the car handles kind of like a sled. So this is kind of... You're seeing the driving here and kind of just how generally bad it is. Um, the cars handle kind of like a sled and, and for a game that, you know, a lot of people will say, well, you, you kind of have to compare it to GTA, uh, Grand Theft Auto did everything right. And the fact that, um, you know, they couldn't even get the open world elements correct, uh, is beyond me. You know, we, we have, you know, no emotion on, on people and, and sure there's a lot of people out, but at the end of the day, they just failed to deliver on a lot of things. Now, I think I've complained enough about the, the gameplay mechanics and how kind of bad compared to what was promised and what was shown uh, the mechanics are, but I want to talk about the story. And I'm on, uh, I'm about towards the end of Act 2, not quite to Act 3. There are five acts um, in the game, um, and they, you know, they take various periods of time. But the story is just not compelling. The characters aren't that good. They aren't that driven for me. Um, you know, you don't, I don't know if it's just the way it's written, but normally stories like this, I am just drawn to my seat, absolutely cannot put the game down, can't wait to get home to play it. You know, Murdered Soul Suspect, it, even though I gave that game a 7 out of 10 or a 6 out of 10, and it had its flaws, um, it was compelling at the end of the day. You know, Infamous Second Son was really compelling at the end of the day, but here we are, you know, and I... It's been two weeks this game's been out. I've had this game for more than two weeks, almost three weeks, I think. And, uh, yeah, there's no, there's nothing, there's no urge, I have no urge to play this game. You know, it's like, I want to, I want to, I want to finish it. The only reason I want to keep playing this game is because I spent $130 on the collector's edition like a fool, thinking, oh, this game will be fun, this game will be great, I'll get enough experience out of it to get my money's worth, even though I'm paying double the game to get all this collector's edition stuff. You know, at the end of the day, you know, 
there's no compelling thing about the story. You know, you, you, and I might, these might be minor spoilers, but your, your niece dies, uh, in a car accident. Um, we, I have yet to find out who did it, but okay. And here you're about to see me put this car on its side and drag it for, for a few hundred feet. Watch this. Here it comes. I've, I've hit it three times now and boom into the wall it goes. Oh, Hey, it can drive away. Like nothing's wrong. Oh, Hey, we're going to flip you on your side. Oh, here we're dragging you down the road. Oh, Hey, you're on your side and you're fine. What? How is that? How is that a thing? How is that? I don't understand. Ugh. Anyway, back to my point. Um, it's just not a compelling story. You know, I, I don't know if it's because the saving the little girl narrative has been shared a lot or if it's just bad writing of the characters or it's this they're trying to make Aiden, who's the main character, seem mysterious and deadly and this, that and the other and Hujima, what's it, communism, whatever. Um, but he's just not a compelling guy. You know, he's not a guy that we know a lot about. His main motivation is getting revenge for his niece and, you know, protecting his sister and his nephew. But it's not a compelling story. It's not. And I don't know how to make it so. And then right there, that was ridiculously stupid. Uh, being able to ramp that pull, another part of the broken physics. Um, and then right there. See, run him into a parked car. Yep, run him into a stop car. Nothing happens. Doesn't even slow down. Um... And he glitches through that car. I just, I just, it just makes me so mad. So at the end of the day, the question that this review has posed or that I pose with your review is, should you buy this game? I say no. Um, maybe get it for $20 down the road if you really want to try out the hacking elements and if you want to see if they, what they do with Watch Dogs 2. See right there, that should have been a bigger collision. But at the end of the day, I don't find this game compelling enough um, uh to warrant paying the full price for it or even warranting at this point i think it's still fifty dollars at gamestop warranting paying that price for the game so uh, i say just wait till you get it on a steam sale in a year or two and play it then or play it right before Watch Dogs 2 comes out at a very much discounted price because it's really just not worth it and um so that's my full review of Watch Dogs um on ps4 so i hope you guys have uh a fun time uh, with other games because you're not buying this one. I hope that you, by passing this one up, if you're watching this and still thinking about it, um, play something else. But yeah, this game is just not worth your $60. It might be worth $20 if you're bored down the line. But don't shell out full price for this game. It's not worth it. So thanks guys for watching. I will see you next time and uh, have a good day. Bye.